Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome back to a new episode of City Skylines. We're again doing another episode on Asset Editor. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. The last time we did intersections, this time we're going to do parks. Now, again, the theme doesn't matter, just hit select. All right, so here we are, and we have intersections, pa uh, parks, buildings, props, trees, vehicles, citizens, and roads. We're ready for parks. So let's continue. So here we are in parks, and you can make your park whatever size you want from one to 16. The width, you can make the length eight. So one to 16, one to eight. So I think we'll do an eight by eight. Now, you can use this other stuff down in here, but you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can make it milestoned, but we're going to keep it unlocked. Sub meshes you can get from the workshop, but we don't need that. The general building, it just tells you if you could place it on a circular road. Um, you know what? We'll put that on just in case. It's a little curved to the road. Uh, expand the front yard. That's usually for a house. Flatten the terrain. We don't really need to bother with any of those. Electricity. We're not going to have any to the park. Gameplay commons. That just tells you how much it'll cost to construct, how much the maintenance is, and all the other stuff. You can make the garbage accumulate if you want, and the garbage will have to be picked up, but we'll just leave that alone. This is your tourists. We'll leave that. Water. We're not going to have any water consumption. You could, if you wanted to, like, put water fountains or something. You don't need it. <laughs> Entertainment accumulation. It tells you about 50. And the radius. So we're going to leave all that alone. And we'll go jump in and build. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab some regular paths. Now remember, if you use a DLC and you want to upload this to the workshop, you'll have to include that you need the Park Life DLC to use this asset so let's go ahead and use the nature reserve one and we'll kind of bring it not like that just up and around and then bring it to there and bring it to there we have like an x but that means we can connect paths later on to it you can go into trees any one of your trees and I like some of the newer ones. You can pick a couple of trees, put them in. Now, if you're wondering what that arrow is down at the bottom, that's just going to tell you where it's going to connect to your road. So that's important to know. If you want your playground or something in the back, you're going to want to keep the arrow here. If you want your playground in the front, something like that. Just, you know, keep it in mind. All right. So now you can go into your parks and you can grab any of the play equipment. You can grab your benches, your fountains, anything like that and place it in your park. So we could place a fountain there, maybe a fountain over here. Over here, I might delete this tree for now and go into the playground equipment and we'll grab a swing set. Maybe a sandbox. And a couple little odds and ends. Like that. We'll go into park benches. Whoops, hit the wrong button. There we go. And I'm assuming that these should face in so the parents can sit, keep an eye on their kids. We'll go back to trees. Put that other tree back in towards the back there maybe one there one there one there and let's go back to parks now in here we can use the gazebos so you could have one possibly coming around that way and maybe another one over here you could have a couple of picnic benches, maybe. People can sit out. 
And let's see what else we have. I think we have the ice cream truck. That would be something cool to put in, especially with the kids. There we go. Maybe as they leave the park. That looks good. So that's basically it. You can make any size that you want from the 16 by 8 down. And you could add as much or as little, you know, extras as you want. We could put in a couple more trees. We could put in some garbage cans, which I didn't think of. There's a garbage can there. We could just place them throughout. Uh, maybe one over here. And one there. So that's about it. So that's our park. So now we're going to go in. We're going to take our pictures. Let's zoom in so we could see it really well. Zoom out a little. And save it. Save asset. And I'm going to put my in front of it. And this way when I go to search for it, I'll find my stuff. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is change the photos and sit, click save. So that's that. So now we can get out of here. We can delete this. We can use actually the move it mod and select everything and just delete it like that. Next, besides parks, you can put in Let's do a two, maybe a three by four. Keep it nice and small. And we'll put concrete there. And you can actually make a parking lot. So if you keep it on vanilla and you type in park, parking, sorry. <laughs> and you can literally put in your own little park parking lot. So I'm just going to click this till it spins around nice and straight and we'll come in a little closer so we can line this up. All right, so I'm going to just line it up with that line right there. Now up on top right there, it says two of 64 tree props. So every piece that you put in is a tree prop. So we're just going to click this in. And so keep track of what you're doing. You can't do a massive parking lot because I'll show you in a minute. It'll add to your account really fast because you have to put in markers. And markers each take up one space. So now you can leave it like that or you can even add another row. So let's say we wanted to put one more row right down the middle. And we'll keep that open to drive in. So next, you need these markers. So this is the marker, and this is the parking space. So you're going to click on that, and I'm going to put all these in. And these take up each space. So you're going to have to put them in each spot. Okay, so now as you can see, we took up 44 out of 64. Now we could do another thing, which is lights. So if you type in parking lot and you see these lights, you got the single and you got the double. Now you could put these right on the edge here. You could put one there, one there, one there. One there. And right there. So now we're already up to 50. And if we turn it down, you can see it's quite lit up. It looks pretty good. So next, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a picture. We can zoom in and get it centered. Okay. 
There we go. And we're just going to go here, save asset. And instead of my play park, we'll just do park lot. And we'll save it once we change the picture. Let's just change the pictures. There we go. And save. And it says an error occurred. This happened the last time I did it, but it still works. And they'll still use it. So that's how you use your park. You can use it as a parking lot, a park. You could do a lot of different things with it. But that's just the basics, just so you know how to get started. So I'm going to get out of here, go into my city, and I'll show you how it works and where to find them. Okay, so here we are in our city of Lachland. And yeah, we're in our high density area. So if we go to parks, on the end, you will find the two assets we just created. This is my play park and this is my park lot. So let's go ahead and put down our park lot and our, oh, there we go, and our playground. So let's go ahead and take a look and we're just gonna delete these trees in front of our park here. Let's zoom in, there we go, and there we go. So, yes, here's our parking lot. This will get used. Um, this will get used. I'll show you how to connect your little paths. We can grab it just like we normally would. Let's curve it. And we could probably put it right to the parking lot there. So there they go, they're starting to park. And I don't know why this didn't connect to here, but it's fine. It looks a little funky. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the edge there, but eh, it's fine. But there they go. There's our people walking right there. I actually like that they walk through the grass, so that's pretty good. And yeah, they walked on through. So yeah, that's how they work. And I hope this tutorial you found helpful and not to be afraid of the asset editor because it's super easy to use and it could be a real help in your city. I mean, look at this nice little parking lot. Completely easy, completely simple. And we got parking. So that's really cool. And then over here, for all those people that love to detail, like Joy, <laughs> um, yeah, you can make your own park and it'll be unique to your own build. So that's a lot of fun to have your own uniqueness. So if you like my content, want to see more, like, subscribe, comment, share, and let me know what you think of these uh, little tutorials. Thanks. Bye.